Take one. Boom. Boom. You're welcome. Okay. Where are we going? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so, hi. Uh, I'm Jordan. I'm Kalila. And this is our tiny home. All right. So, I, um, I think we started this in April. Um, so, it's probably been a good four solid months of us working. Um, yeah. Yeah, between um, Jordan having off work and his dad having off work, so it was only the three of us that actually um, did all of this, um, which it still kind of amazes me that we did, to be honest. Um, but it has definitely not been easy either. No. Um, no, it does. It definitely comes with its challenges. One of our first ideas was actually a horse box, um, but that was a bit big and ambitious, I think, for our liking. So we ended up with a little 2002 Mercedes Sprinter. <laughs> um, the, the whole idea of it was just to stop paying rent uh, you know, and save some money. Honestly, it's just really difficult for people our age and stuff to get on the property ladders these days. Um, it's just becoming more and more difficult for anyone to own their own home. Um, so we just kind of looked at this as a way of living it for three, four years and then maybe get a down deposit on a house or upgrade into a better van. I mean, we've been able to make this exactly how we want it. Whereas when you walk into a already made home or already made flat it's not exactly how you want it yet and for us we were able to put every single little detail um, throughout the van that literally fits us perfectly I mean our cat lives with us so that's a that's a lifestyle change you didn't have to lose um, and he his whole room is under our couch so <laughs> uh, you got his little litter box in the back and that's all all his and he he's more spoiled than he was in any two-story apartment, that's sure. <laughs> sure. Since we started even thinking about the idea of converting a van, um, we kind of just did a ton of research. Um, you did a ton of research. I did a ton of, a ton of research. Um, I found so many people from all over the world. I'm, I mean, America, Canada, um, just all just so loving. Um, they are so quick to help. I mean, any questions we've had, we've been able to reach out to anyone in the van life community. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, we made the van life leap about uh, 12 months ago and we've been living an amazing life. Day-to-day uh, -day struggles are finding water, uh, safe places to dump. Level sleeping ground. Level sleeping ground is <laughs> massive. Uh, nobody likes to kink neck. Um, all in all, van life has been an amazing experience for my family and I. Um, I know my wife, Gianna, has really enjoyed um, all of us being around together more. Yep, we have a lot of time together. We wake up, we have all of our meals together. We get to spend all day together exploring. And we've created um, streams that we've been able to create streams of income on the road to sustain this lifestyle. And so, you know, we don't live the high life. We're not millionaires, but we are living free and rich. I mean, we're rich. To us, in, we're rich. Yeah, we're we're the richest people in the world in terms of time, and um, that's just everything. We we value our time so much, and being able to go amazing places and uh, spend it with the people you love has been amazing for us. So, if you're thinking about doing life. Van life. Uh, van life. Do it. Do van life. You Do try it for life. a little while. It doesn't have to be for forever. It doesn't have to be, you know, the rest of your life. It just has to be, you know, you have to get it out of your system. If it's something that you're interested in, we definitely recommend you do it. It's freeing. It's fun. It's, it's pretty cool. Once you get over that travel bug, you uh, 
can't really get rid of it. So. You can do it! Cheers, good luck with everything, and check us out on our van quest. Hi guys, I'm Rachel. I'm Sam, and we live in our self avert LDV convoy with our three-year-old son, Ellis. The last six months have just been absolutely incredible. We've been to some amazing places, we've met wonderful people, um, yeah, and like the experiences have just been amazing. Um, for example, we've driven bottom to top of Norway, yeah. through Finland, we got to see the Northern Lights. There's no bad things to say, and we love it so much that we're going to be doing it all again. Um, if you want to check us out or follow along our journey, then follow us on Instagram at the Dixie Tribe. Yeah, they've just been absolutely amazing. I mean, we don't know anything when it comes to electrics <laughs> or plumbing. Yeah. Or... We've relied on a lot of help from you know some some family and you know some friends. Yeah, and um, it's it's honestly it's made us excited to travel too because we've seen so many people who have met on Instagram um, in this van life community. Honestly, a, a humbling experience. I think we've learned a lot about each other, um, individually and as a couple, but Definitely. I also think that that's brought us closer to knowing ourselves and knowing each other, so. pros massively outweigh every con, mm. like every time. I don't think that I'd want it any other way. <laughs>